Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome to another art journal layout. Now this video is actually part of an art journaling YouTube hop. You will find tons of inspiration, so many different techniques and so many different styles. I'm sure you will have lots of fun hopping along with us. And there are also lots of prizes to be won from these amazing sponsors. So make sure to leave a comment here on YouTube below every video because all these prizes will be chosen randomly from the comments along the hop. So I will be working on my 6x6 disc bound journal and I don't know if you have seen this previous page. I'm uh, trying to make the most out of this stamp set which is the Theories by Tim Holtz. I have used uh, the one, the guy on the string and I'm uh, working along the rest of the stamps. So today I will be working with the guys on the bicycle. So for this stamp set I'm trying to create a set of pages that they are similar in design and they have similar techniques and that's why I will be working today again with my alcohol inks. I'm actually obsessed with them lately and I'm using my favorite technique with these alcohol inks which is to apply first my blending solution and have my surface quite wet and then apply the colors of my ink. Now as you can see it is easy for me to move all those colors and uh, force them to blend together with a straw just because my surface is quite wet since I had lots of that blending solution on top of it. Now I'm working on Yupo paper and the colors of uh, the inks that I'm using are pool, aquamarine and citrus. As always you will be able to find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using down below in the description area with links to online shops where you can grab everything if you like. And excuse my head in uh, there, but uh, it was really difficult for me to blow all over the place without putting uh, my head in front of the camera. Now alcohol ink is really difficult to control. You need to leave it alone to do its own thing and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this piece alone to dry. Now even everything is dry you will find that there are some areas that are quite sticky especially where the ink is quite concentrated and that's a great opportunity for you to do some foiling. This is a great technique it's going to stick only where those uh, areas are and I love that the final result is quite random, it's shiny and uh, it's very organic. So let me catch the light for you so you can see where all the sign is and hopefully you can see how beautiful it looks. I'm really obsessed with those uh, alcohol inked backgrounds and you can get similar looks with watercolor paper and uh, watercolors but uh, with alcohol inks you get a, a really vibrant color. Plus the end result is permanent which means that um, you can do whatever you like on top of it without it uh, smudging or smearing which is great especially when you do a mixed media project. Now I'm working with some uh, stamps to add some uh, visual texture on my piece and uh, I'm stamping everything with black archival ink. I'm just mixing and matching uh, stamps that I had in my stash. I am stamping everything with black archival ink just because I want this to end up being permanent but at the same time I find that archival ink stamps beautifully on top of Yupo paper. Remember that Yupo paper is a non-porous surface which means that not every ink is going to dry on top of it. Now I'm going to stamp my focal points. So these are the guys on the bike by the Theories stamp set. I'm going to stamp them with black archival ink on top of a piece that I have from an ephemera pack. I just picked one. Of course for such a big stamp you can also use your stamping platform if you have one to get a good impression. I went with my stamping block just because I was too lazy and uh, now I'm going to turn this into a tag just by chopping the two edges. I'm also going to use my crocodile to make a hole and then I use one of my eyelets to reinforce that hole a little bit and to add a metal detail on my piece. I really love adding different textures on my art journals because they add visual interest and there is always something to grab the eye. Now I want this piece to be a little bit popped up on top of my art journal and that's why I added some foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick that directly on top of my background. 
Notice that I have placed the tag a little bit offset, so I'm going to use my scissors and chop off a part from that wheel of the bike. This way I have more visual interest as if there is something going on outside of the page. And again I'm playing with textures here, so I have uh, now some metal piece, I have some thread, I have uh, the Yupo paper which is glossy, and of course I have normal paper which is matte. I'm going to embellish my project a little bit more since I had this pack of ephemera out I decided to use some of them on my piece so I'm just going to chop off uh, pieces and just tuck them in underneath the tag or in different areas just playing around to add more layers on my project to introduce some more color and at the same time to bring everything together and for uh, introducing these uh, type of layers on your project, you can always use cutouts from uh, design papers that you probably have or cutouts from magazines. You can create your very own uh, little pieces using stamps, so many different ideas to add layers. I'm also going to use some uh, design tapes. I really love those packs and uh, lately I have been using them a lot. I like that they come with different designs in one pack that have also different widths and they even give you one thin strip of uh, glitter uh, washi tape. I'm going to stick uh, my project on top of a page from my 6x6 disc bound art journal. So I'm just uh, coloring the edges with black uh, acrylic paint. And before I stick everything down, this is where I decided that I wanted to ink up and darken up the edges of my pieces just a little bit. So I'm just using a blending tool there with Vintage Photo, I believe. And I'm going to add some uh, double-sided tape. This is strong tape, so it's going to provide a nice bond between uh, the Yupo paper and my watercolor paper. And I'm going to stick this on top and notice that my project is slightly smaller than 6x6 so I end up having a lovely border, black border, that gives my piece a finished look. Finally I'm going to stick on top one of the quad chips that says Adventure Awaits. I'm making up the edges to bring everything together. And my art journal project is finished. All I have to do is to put back the page on my 6x6 disc bound journal. Now I also get a lot of questions on what I am going to do with the back of the pages. I haven't thought of it. I, I'm not bothered with the back of the pages. Probably I will color them all black at some point or maybe do something at the back. I don't know. So anyway, I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Here are some close up photos of the project that I made today. Don't forget that this is part of a video hop, make sure to hop along with us, you will find tons of inspiration and many giveaways and you will find the link to the next stop at the end of this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.